Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In the previous episode, we created this thumb screw with diagonal knurling. In today's episode, we're going to create this thumb screw and we're going to be doing vertical and horizontal knurling. All right, let's hop right to it. Let's start out by creating a new component. I'm just going to call this vertical knurling. All right, let's start out with a sketch. We're gonna put it on the front plane. We're gonna begin by creating the outline for the thumb screw. Start out with a line. I'm gonna make it about 28 millimeters. We're gonna kind of walk the dog on this one as we create the profile. All right. Make a line, a vertical line, six millimeters. I'm gonna go ahead and walk the dog again. Make this line about six millimeters. And continue to draw the profile. All right, let's go ahead and give us some dimensions. All right, so we want this line to be about 0.5 millimeters. And so we're gonna take the equals tool, we're gonna make this one 0.5, take this one, make this one 0.5, and take this one and make this one 0.5. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and measure this line from top to bottom. It's gonna be about four millimeters. We'll measure this from here to here. Actually, we need to go ahead and give that a vertical correction, a horizontal constraint. All right. Now let's go ahead and give it a dimension. Top to bottom. Make this about 5.5 millimeters. All right. Make this about 2.3. Okay. From here to here, we'll make this about 17 millimeters. We'll make this line here about three millimeters. All right. As you can see, the sketch is fully defined. All right, let's go ahead and finish the sketch. And let's use the revolve tool. Profile is already selected. Profile axis is gonna be the bottom. And there you have it. Click okay. All right, now for the top, I'm gonna to use the hold command, place a hold on the top. Drag it until it snaps into the center. Okay. I want to make about five millimeters. Actually, let's back out for a second. Let's start over. Hold command, grab the top, drag it in the center. Okay. All right. So let's look at what we got here. Want to make it simple. Hold tap type simple. It's going to be at an angle. Okay. I'm going to make this about five millimeter distance. Okay. And the bottom we're going to make about five millimeters as well. And click OK. All right. Next, we're gonna go ahead and give this bottom edge a chamfer, about 0.5 millimeters. I'm just gonna go ahead and make that equal distance. Click okay. All right. When I start adding some fillets, I'm gonna grab this 
face right here. Make this about 0.5 millimeters and it bends both sides. Okay. Hit the plus symbol. Select this edge, this edge, and that edge. I'm going to make them 0.2 millimeters. All right. Click OK. All right. Now let's go ahead and use the chamfer tool again. We'll select this edge and this edge. We'll make it, we'll actually change it to distance and angle 45 degrees, and this will be 0.45 millimeters. All right. Click OK. All righty. Let's go ahead and add some threads. Use the thread tool, select the actual uh, cylinder here. We want to make it model. It's not going to be the full length. We're going to make the length about, the offset's going to be zero, but we're going to make the length about 14 millimeters. Okay. Size is going to be six millimeters. It's going to be M6 dot by one. Right hand, click OK. All right. Now, I'm going to use the left view. I'm going to go ahead and create a sketch. I'm going to select this edge right here. All right, zoom in a bit so I can show you guys. All right, this is what we're going to do. I'm going to use the polygon tool, circumscribe polygon. We're going to grab the edge to you see the X drag out. Hit the tab key. I'm going to type the number four because we only want four sides and just left click. All right. What we're going to do now is get a construction line and go from the top point to the bottom point. Okay. I'm going to give this a vertical constraint. All right. We also want to make this constrained to the center as well. All right. Last but not least, let's go ahead and dimension this line. Make it 0.3 millimeters. All right. That is good. Go ahead and finish the sketch. Use the extrude tool. And just select the bottom. Operation is going to be set to cut. And click OK. All right. Now we want to use the circular pattern tool. Feature, make sure that features type is selected. I'm going to select the previous execution we did, that feature, which is basically the extrude tool. Okay. The axis, it's going to be the up and down axis. Okay. I want the quantity to be 60. Compute option is going to be identical. Click OK. All right. Now, what we want to do now is basically start with the horizontal. So we use the coil tool for this. Select coil. Okay. We want to select this uh, face. Okay. We want to be on the left. Start in the center. Drag out until we actually hit that edge. Okay, it's going to be 13 diameter, 13 millimeters in diameter. Okay. All right. So let's look at the uh, parameters here. It's going to be revolution in height. The height's going to be 0 0.001. Okay. The angle is going to be zero degrees. It's going to be triangular internal. Section position is going to be on center. Section size is going to be 0.3. And operation is going to be cut. Click OK. All right. Now we want to use the rectangular pattern tool. All right. Make sure features are selected. Select the previous operation in the features panel. OK. OK. Direction we want to go is vertical. So basically up and down. 
Okay. And the quantity we want to have for this operation, it's going to be about 11. Okay. And the distance, we'll just go ahead and select the bottom of that face. Okay. And click OK. Your vertical and horizontal neural thumb screw. Well, I hope this video was very informative and you learned how to perform vertical and horizontal knurling. I'll see you in the next video.